First, I build Triple Electrum Turbo Auto Wind Deck. Next, I build one, three Electrum, one Venom Auto Wind Deck, no Astrograph Auto Wind Deck. Next, I create Auto Wall Pendulums. Next, I create one Electrum Auto Wind Deck. Then I create this and that and this and that. DD Pendulums, this with Pendulums, PK Pendulums, every Pendulum ever made known to mankind. Today, Triff Labs creates another of my beautiful creation, not just any normal D not no any normal pendulum deck. This time it's a special pendulum deck in honor of Tiki47 on Patreon who requested it. You already know. It's the boy one well, set. Let's pull out the boss of the deck just now. Pen not normal pendulums, but E Hero Pendulums, baby. Sardos has been back the balance before this one. So we're gonna do E Hero Pendulums. Bringing out Dark Law, Double Fog, protecting the Dark Law with the wing, with the uh, Phantom Knight trap that protects the card. Dark Law is broken in this format. It's gonna showcase you guys an average hand right now. Completely shuffled of Hero, Pen Hero Phantom Knight Pendulums. Where every single turn you got the fog blade, the trap that protects your dark law to ensure you go always got dark law, and a negate like vortex every single turn. We don't play the Zephyr right here because we already have too many non pendulums, so this is more than enough. And it overall ratios it ensures that you're gonna always have the dark law protected by the trap with a fog blade and a vortex. Uh, an auto win hand just there. So we're gonna do average chat here, just shuffling, shuffling. Peter, sir, would you like to cut? Also, before you do the random hat, it's trying to subscribe, guys. At 13,000, at 13,000, at 13,000, we are going to do a very special giveaway, so make sure to subscribe and shout out to Game Nation. Uh, sometimes a little sped, I do this opposite way. So, Game Nation, take us out in the description below. I don't know. It's like you don't even make something out of it. And you have 5% of your Yu-Gi-Oh cards in the description, as always. So, check that out. You get this beautiful hero deck, pendulum deck. There. So, first opening hand, here we go. So this is the average tip of the hand you're going to see. It's not the best hand, obviously, but again, whatever. A hand's a hand. Now I'm going to do this like this. The deck should be here. So obviously, to start off, you're going to curtain razor. You're going to dark worm. You're going to go zero. We're playing as if there's no hand traps. Obviously, this hand trap is going to do this a little differently. If there is a hand trap, we don't care so much about the E. Uh, if we get drolled here, E call doesn't help us. So... We're gonna go straight for the zero. Where the zero? Searching for one ofs in a 60 card deck is a very, very big mission. Where are you? There we go. So we got that. Next, we go into our electro. Now, this is where you would send the. If you were to play the Zephras, you used to get the free negate off of Zephra. But I take the two out to ensure that my hand's always busted. Because uh, we drew this or this. They don't break, but if you draw the other two, they do break. Opening a, a hero or a PK in your hand does not break. It helps your hand out. And if you open uh, one cool, very cool, oh, you didn't draw one of them, but if you open E-Call, you open Shadow Mist and Pendulum Call and Dragon Ravine, you get a free plus off it. So it's another sick way to do it. Uh, but we'll explain it more in the deck profile. This is just a combo tutorial. So now we're going to send off this. So Electro Effect. We want a high scale. So we're going to send Harmonizing. And we have to draw high scale to pen the harm Harmonizing out. We're gonna e-call. <laughs> now at this point, if you uh, got to use your Electrum without your normal summon, you go into Stratos. Instead, we're gonna go to the Shadow Mist. We're gonna have Shadow Mist just to relax there at the very end. And at the very end, we're just gonna, at their turn, get the Stratos back. So next turn, you have a follow-up, you have a Stratos for a follow-up, which is a huge follow-up. It gets Vine, etc. etc. You got a lot of cool plays to do next. Now we're gonna use the Electrum Effect. We're gonna put the Dark Worm. We're gonna pop, get the Harmonizing. So we ensure no matter what, we have our Pendulum Summon. But if we get a high skill, it's just even better. So I would get the cut, please. So now we're gonna search, we're gonna draw. We're gonna get another Harmonizing. So yo, shout out my boys! Yo, my boys just came through during the video. Brown Jesus! What's good? Bulgarian Jesus! What's good, bro? What's good? Yo, you fucking missed out. We had like four girls, bro. Bro, we, this is how much I love you guys. I turned down guaranteed girls and the time of my life with my boys to make videos for you guys and create hero pendulums. Who does that? I do. Bro. Anyways. Why? That's all I'm gonna say. Why? We, had, we went to Muda. 
We have fucking four girls. We're cutting straight for the club right now. Four Wait, girls. Yo, let me finish with the tournament. I called yo. you four times. <laughs> and this I guy playing Yu-Gi-Oh, right. bro. There's so much I love you guys. I choose Yu-Gi-Oh over guaranteed girls. Um, I always keep it in my girls, bro. My girls see this stuff. Anyways, so this is my pen summon. We could have, this is in our, these were in our hands. We could have summoned this and then just two of these. But at the very end, just by ratios, because you need two oh, monsters yeah, to create the, the, <laughs> uh, Rusty, the Rusty, uh, PK link. You need this to stay for sure, uh, to get the Dark Law out. And this is going to be a one card negate. So, if we did that, this will have no way of getting to the graveyard. You could summon it out with Rusty, but you have no, because uh, Rusty's on board, but you have no way to actually put it into the graveyard. Because there's no, nothing to link with. So rather than doing that, we're just going to not summon to the extra spot. Typically, if we had a Destroy here, we got an extra negate on top of this. But regardless, it's okay. Uh, stuff happened. Or if we just didn't draw this. If we didn't draw this. But anyways, so we pen some of these and activate the fact to harmonize it. At this point, we have Void Ogre in the deck, but this is going to eventually search us a card. It's going to search Stratos for follow-up for next turn. So because of that, we are not going to go into Void Ogre. Instead, we're going to bring out the level 3 to go into Dragster. Because you need a Synchro 7. Uh, you need a negate at all times, no matter what. The negate spell traps, no matter what. Like, with, regardless of the situation, because you'll get evenly and just cry. You don't want to cry. So, Gazer. Yeah, so bring on the Gazer here. I put it there by, uh, in, in, on the test day. Now we're going to go this and this. We're going to go into Underclock. And then we're going to go Dark Worm. This into the PK. And the PK. Oh, sorry, but before that. We're going to take use of the zone. We're just going to go into a Dragster now. And then we're gonna go into uh, Rusty. And now Rusty's effect will trigger, sending the other PK you play to set one of the traps. Oh, sorry, this search mass change on summon. And then you're gonna get one of the traps. And then you're gonna banish this. We don't play the the other the third one, gloves, right? That's what it's called. We don't play gloves because there's no use for it. You already play too many non pendulums. And now you're gonna have Dark Law. With Dragster, and you're gonna have the two fog blades protect uh, fog blade and the wings protecting it. And people really don't understand the power of wing uh, wings. Oh, this card is insane because they're gonna do whatever they can to get rid of the the dark law. So now you just pass on their turn when they draw a card to get a free plus. So they're gonna be left with five cards anyways because after they everything searches now. So you're gonna search once. They're gonna lose a card out of their hand. Effect. You're gonna bring out the big boy. Dark law is gonna come out. <clears throat> And then in the effect of this, you got literally the best follow-up ever. You literally got straddles for a follow-up. And you got a full extra deck to pen summon because you're going to have links forever. Because Fogblade's going to always bring this back. Even if they kill this, you're always going to have two summons. One here, one here, wherever you bring it. So you're always going to you're gonna fat extra deck. To, you're always going to bring out two for the rest of the duel. And good luck, have fun to your opponent because they're not playing. Now you saw the other deck, the other boards where I did where it was Dragster, uh, Jackal, Tornado, whatever, this, the, the Zephyr even. But you can never underestimate the power of a Dark Law. I realize that beast, Dark Law, cards like that are three negates in itself. They obliterate your opponent. So if you have the option to go Dark Law, I'm trying to go Dark Law and that beast in the same turn. Because that's absolute obliteration. Backed up, imagine Nap, Dark Law, that beast, and two of these, your opponent's not doing anything. And that's very capable with the deck. So my next video I'm going to do on Hero Pendulums, shout out Tiki47. Again, this video is for you. Thank you for the Patreon. Everyone check out my Patreon if you haven't already. It's gonna maybe have Nappies and Dark Law with Pendulum still and the Dragster and the Dragster. So good luck up onto that because you're getting destroyed easily. This was the combo tutorial. More is coming eventually. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. We're gonna do it. The next video is gonna be a deck list showcasing the ratios and, and the theory behind the deck. So hope you guys like the video. Make sure to subscribe. Make sure to check out Game Nation. You get 5% off on YGO Markings and Pengon 5. Hope you guys like the video. See you guys in the next video. Peace.